Gary Rowett puts pen to paper on a new contract at the den. Behind closed doors, episode forty six. Um, the news broke yesterday, didn't it? Um, Gary Rowett has put pen to paper on a brand new contract in SE sixteen. Um, look, it's not going to be a, it's not going to be a long video. I ain't going to make no bones about it. I wanted him out when we couldn't buy a win. I wanted him out when we couldn't buy a win. But look. I am fully, fully behind Gary Rowett now. I am fully behind Gary Rowett. Um, like I said, I wanted then I wanted him out um, when we couldn't buy a win, and but he turned us around dramatically. Um, he's made us tougher to beat. We look more threatening going forward. We look like we got some um, newfound energy, um, and that's all thanks to Gary Rowett and a hard work he's putting in on the training ground because look it's obviously paying off um he's been here three seasons now in it i think he's going into his fourth season and we're just gradually getting better under gary rower um he first come in when he first come in didn't he he said we have a three-year plan to get us into the playoffs that didn't materialize for whatever reason but this summer it's just filling me with newfound optimism and I can feel like something's going to happen under him now. Um, so yeah, look, with the signings he's bringing in, he's showing real, real intent in the window with securing the services of the likes of Zion Fleming, um, George Hunnaman, he's being smart, he's using his brain. But look, he had signed a new contract at then. There was rumours earlier in the, in the year, wasn't it? That he, earlier in the summer, sorry, um, that he wasn't going to sign. That um, Queen's Park Rangers were looking at him. That he wanted to go out of, up up north. That um, he put his hat, um, he sailed forward for the Sunderland job. But look, he said in his interview today that he's absolutely loving life at this football club. We are all together. He said in his interview, I will show you the interview in this video of him. Um, he says that we're all together, we're all singing off the same sheet, we're all on the same page, we all want the same um, goals. And that's the first off, that's first off, to get us into the top six. And I think he's going to do that next year. I think he will get us into the top six. He said the main goal is to play Premier League football. Um... And look, Gary Rowett is here to stay. Um, yeah, so all I can say to Gary Rowett is you deserve this contract extension. 
you've massively, massively turned us around. We look more um, flexible. Now we look more adaptable. We're not too predictable now in games. Um, so, yeah, look, let me just finish it off here in a minute. I did want him out when we couldn't buy a win. I've already said that, but um, that claps to Mr. G. Wow. Um, wow, what Yobby's done, he's properly turned it around and he deserves his contract extension. So I will see you next year, Gary. Um, running up and down our tax line. And long may it continue. Over and out. Gary Rowe extends his day in SC16 by signing a new long-term contract. Well done, Gary. Over and out. Coming in, Rance. Gaffer, congratulations on the new deal. You must be really excited to continue your journey at Millwall. Yeah, look, I think it's, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, um, it's great to feel that the club want me to continue growing what we've done and, and continue the sort of development that we've had. Um, I think it's important that the club has always had stability. You know, there's quite a very few managers over a long period of time. I think it showed how John, the owner, likes to operate. Um, I think we're built in a really nice, progressive way. I think it's, you know, from the day that I walked in, we've always tried to um, elevate our ambitions every season. We've always tried to improve what we do every season. And I think hopefully people have seen the team just play slightly differently and, and, and continue to... Uh, get better and better. So um, yeah, look, we've had we've had three consistent seasons, um, you know, but we want more, and that and that's the aim, you know, that's our ambition. So for me personally, look, I, you know, I love working at the club. I've enjoyed every minute of it so far. Um, you know, I came here because I know what a unique club it is. I know how unique our fans are, and, and um, you know, certainly last season was fabulous to be part of it. And and of course, London's a, an incredible city. So. So, uh, yeah, really pleased to be able to continue that work. I imagine that first game at home against Stoke feels like a million years away considering what's happened since with COVID and, and everything. But what have you seen change at the club since you arrived? Uh, I just think that, you know, it's, it's always difficult. I think when a team comes out of League One and your first thought is to try and solidify in the Championship and then, um, you know, maybe sometimes I think that I spoke about it quite a lot since I've been here, but maybe our... Our feeling was always to look down and see if we can make sure we don't get dragged into those positions. Um, and I think for us, really, it's been trying to switch that a little bit and, and, and actually show what a good side we are and show what good players we've got and, 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 and say to the players that, you know, we've worked hard, we deserve to be at the top end of the table. Um, you know, and that's what we try and aspire to do. It's never always possible. There's going to be spells in the season where you're not doing what you wanted to do, but... But um, we have a real hunger and desire about this group. Um, I think even little things like the training ground, the club have supported a lot of improvements that we've tried to make. Um, staffing, I think the club have supported a lot of a lot of the way we want to try and move forward with with different um, different support for the players through the staff, and I think that's important. So, so yeah, I couldn't I couldn't really complain about anything um, if I'm being honest. So, so um, yeah, I think the club we're, we're very. We're very united at the moment. There's a lot of togetherness between all the layers, you know, the team, the staff, the board, the owner. Um, and I think that's only going to be positive for, for this football club. Let's talk about that consistency. Last season, you must have been so proud of the home record uh, that the team could put together for you because at the Den, one of the best home form records in the league is something you want to continue to build on and particularly with that away record as well yeah we do look I mean of course your home record is important to any team particularly for us um, and we know how how um, good the atmosphere can be at home and, and how much the fans get behind us and a lot of op opposition teams are certainly aware of how difficult it is to play at the Den but we need to be a, we need to be a rounded team you know last season we didn't win enough away games um, you know we weren't happy about that I think we need to put that right this year. You're never going to get the balance perfect every single season. Some seasons are always different. Sometimes you feel like you've cracked one thing and then you come back and that's a little bit of an issue. So so we have to work incredibly hard to make sure our home form is good again. Um, and we certainly need to improve our points tally away from home if we want to get to where we want to get to. We're amongst many teams in this division who want to try and get in the top six. So, you know, it's about us working hard to actually make that happen rather than sitting here talking about it and hoping that it might happen.
Just finally, you mentioned the fans there. Over 7,000 season tickets sold in the early early bird uh, period, which is fantastic to see given what's going on in the world at the moment with price increases across the board. To see over 7,000 commit to a season ticket to support us must mean the world to you and the team. Absolutely. Yeah, I think that we all really appreciate our fan base and we all really appreciate what they bring to our football club. Um, you know, and I think for me, you know, that is an incredible um, commitment from them to the club and, and hopefully we can get even more. Uh, I think, uh, like I said before, I think they, they'll see the sign-ins. There'll be a little bit of excitement around. Um, I think the club are really pushing to to give them the best possible team that we can get on the on the pitch this season. Um, and we can, you know, we're always thankful for that. You know, we'd never look past um, our fans. Our fans are, you know, what this club's about. And we're just running around in a shirt part time. And then one day someone else will be running around in it, but the fans will remain with their family. So I think that's really important um, and is a sign of, of um, how dedicated and how committed our, our fan base are.